Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about how to manipulate paths in GIMP and specifically talk about Bezier curves and how you can set them. So when you have the paths tool selected and you go around and you're clicking your points like this around the screen, out of the box you're creating perfectly straight lines and we can always go ahead and connect them together to form our shape by control left clicking on our final point. And now inside of this shape, we have all of these points we can manipulate. But if we want to change the area between these two points into a curve instead of a straight line, right? so in order to modify this into a curve, we need to left click on the line and drag it out. This is going to create two handles creating for the Bezier curve on both sides. So we see one handle coming out of the left point and another handle coming out of the right point. This curve is actually generated by how these two sides are set. So for instance, if I take the handle itself and I drag it around, so depending on where you put the handles, you're going to get very different results, whether that's creating something of a hyperbole shape or more like an ease curve that you would see in many animation programs. Of course, because there's two handles, we have the ability to manipulate both sides in order to get the result that we're looking for. Now, if you know anything about Bezier curves, you know that each point in a Bezier curve system can also have two handles, not just one. So if we click on a new line and start dragging it around, you'll get a completely separate handle that we can manipulate. And by having different handles in different positions on either side, we can make each side of the point look radically different from the other one. Now I'll admit, especially if you're new to it, working with Bezier curves can be a little bit tricky. So you might run into something like you don't want to have curves on both sides, but only one side. Well, if you ever want to remove a handle and therefore removing the curve, you can hold Control and Shift down and then left click on a handle in order to remove it. So that'll remove the handle from one side if you want to completely remove the curve. By the way, as you can see, a curve can be manipulated with a single handle. But if you want to remove that completely, simply remove the handle from the other side as well. And that returns it to a straight line. Now what if you run into the situation where you do want a curve on both sides, but you're trying to manipulate it and it's not really giving you the exact results you want. You'd rather things be symmetrical on both sides so that it looks better. Well, if you click on one of the handles that is coming out of a particular node and you hold shift down while you're doing that, you'll see at the bottom it says click drag to move the handle around symmetrically. So if we left click and hold, you'll notice that the handles for that node become opposites of each other. So that makes it a lot easier to get results which look the same on both sides. So for instance, I could drag this over until it gets to something like that. And it's also worth mentioning that if you only have one handle and you do that trick where you hold shift, it'll automatically create a new handle to make sure that both sides remain symmetric. So by playing around with Bezier curves using these tools, you're able to create far more complex shapes using the paths tool than you would otherwise be able to with the straight lines polygonal usage of the tool. So speaking of polygonal paths, if you have this checked, you're going to be unable to create curves anymore because it's going to be restricting you to polygon shapes. So if I click on the line now that polygonal mode is checked, you'll notice no curves come up. We're only moving the line around, which can be preferable. If you're trying to create geometric shapes, then that can be useful. But that's going to be it for this video on how to work with Bezier curves inside of the paths tool for GIMP 2.10. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.